Hi there. In this video I'm going to replace this particular button so we have here the heated mirror signal. Because a few years ago I activated the heated mirrors but I never got around to changing this because it works even if you do not change it. If you want it to work it remains on this line here and if you want uh, the heating to stop working you leave it on this or on this. But it's long as it's here after you activated the, the heated mirrors and obviously you have uh, heated mirrors mounted uh, on this position it does work uh, i will link two videos in the description of this one where i install my mirrors and where a friend installs his so you can uh, get more info from there but now i want this to be i don't know fully factory like so let's work on this button now Okay, so to do this you need this kind of set because we need to remove this uh, plastic cover all around to access the button from the back and yes, ignore this, this is how I bought the car, I need to change this uh, thing but I keep, uh, keep avoiding it anyway. And when I say replace this button, I hopefully actually say just replace this top part that has the signs on it because if my research is good the button is exactly the same one so there are only two variants this one that has three signs and the other one that i think has five signs or something like that but you can replace this thing so from three to three but the middle one as you can see will be a little heated mirror so let's open this thing up first and yeah, this right here, 80919173B, is this little part right here, but I do not know the codes for the one that has, I don't know, six, or uh, actually, or five uh, of these symbols. It also has them on, on this uh, part, uh, part. I think that's for folded uh, mirrors and whatnot. I don't have those, so this is the part number for the three... Uh, symbols version and my phone will not focus anyway there's that to do this use two tools one of them pry around here somewhere and then you will create a small gap in here to put the second one and pull everything out normally i was putting the first tool in here and i was creating a gap in this corner but it seems today it doesn't want to work because it's really cold outside so I'm starting from the middle in here and then you you simply continue all around as you can see this thing popped out and go all the way and this last one it's stubborn so use one tool in here and one tool in here and pop it out as far as I can see at the moment this button has a clip right there at the top and one uh, i cannot show you it's in, in about the same uh, position as the one at the top right here but on the the other side of it so you need something to undo those clips i use this type of bandit uh, metal they are quite handy made them myself obviously i think it's one millimeter thick or something like that quite soft in the end but they seem to help a lot with this type of clips and if you need to make it easy for you remove this first the connector it has right down there a tiny ledge that you need to somehow push on lift it like that and then you need to pull on this whole thing but yeah filming and doing stuff like this at the same time gets tricky real fast sometimes yeah sorry I, I need two hands to unplug that's the clip that I'm talking about that you need to to push and then wiggle this thing because mine was really 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 stuck so let's use my tools to undo this 
hopefully I can actually do it. And yes, again, I'm not going to be able to do this on camera, but uh, be back when I finish. Okay, my tools were not thick enough this time, so I used a tiny flathead that I pushed right between the button itself and that thing, and it pushed it out enough for the button to come out. Did this top and bottom, and now this is 100% free, as you can see it in here. And now we just need to also remove this plastic thing. Sorry, I was actually wrong. On the top we only have one clip and on the bottom we have two, but I put my screwdriver right between them in the middle and it seems it released both of them. So there's that. And this is the part number and in a second I will check to tell you if this is exactly the same part for this variant or for the variant with the sign in the middle. And I'm 99% sure it's the same part. As you can see here, we are looking at a button that has uh, the heating symbol on it, right there. This is a second hand button and if we look at the code, I'm checking it now on my part, 8K09595565B. Yep, 100% the button is exactly the same, so as expected we only need the plastic part with the symbols on it. Perfect. And to get this thing out, you simply start pushing on these things and uh, <clears throat> then get it from where it actually fell down, somewhere down there. Come on, get out the little part. And these are the parts. You can see the code right there on the one without the symbol. And on the other one, we simply have a B at the end. So it's this code plus a B and it means you have sit heated mirror symbol. So let's pop this part in, or actually can we directly put it onto this thing and pop both of them at the same time? Maybe that works. Or no, not actually because it, it doesn't do anything, it's not connected to the button. So we need to put it in there ourselves. On today, hopefully, make sure it's all the way in. And uh, yep, next put the button in there, and we did the retrofit. Let's clip the button in. This is gonna be a bit tricky because I'm not looking exactly at what I'm doing. Just push it in from, from the button and it should clip quite simply. Yep, and it's clipped. So that's 100% easy. And now just plug this thing in. And it's also clipped. And now let's just push this thing back in place all around and we should be done. Okay, that clip goes in first, the stubborn one, and then you need to make sure you also get in the button clips, because many times it happens that they don't go in and then you have a problem. So put in the button clips, when they are in, you can uh, also clip in the top part. And something isn't right. I, I always have problems in this area. If I take this apart 10 times, 10 times I have problems in this area. And we are done. And this thing is clipped in place. Probably there is a logic to this madness, but I can never find that logic. Anyway, I just insist and it goes in. So there's that. This is how you add that tiny symbol if you really want to have this uh, this mod 100% uh, factory looking. And again, as long as it's in here, it's automated, at least in my car, which is a non-facelift, it's from 2010. It starts by itself when it's under a certain, uh, sorry, a certain temperature. 
I don't know exactly the temperature, never got around to measuring it. If you don't want heating, use it here or use it here. If it's here, it will do it itself, but for example, if you want to force it to work in the summer when it's hot outside, if it uh, you have rain on your mirrors, you cannot, because the temperature will not allow it. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, there's that. Hope this video helps you, in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.